Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. <laughs> oh, look at us. Coming with a Valentine's Day makeup look. As you see, I'm just full of love. I'm just love, 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 love. <laughs> so, as you can see, we're very pinked out. Pinkalicious. That's what we're going to call this look. Pinkalicious look. Pinkalicious. I don't usually wear this much pink. But I think I may start because I think it looks really good on me. But if you want to see how I achieve this look, go ahead and continue watching. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. Just make sure you do that first before you continue watching because you're here for a reason. Obviously, because I caught your eye. I caught your eye. I caught your eye. So make sure you subscribe to the channel. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up. It's a big thumbs up because you know we I work hard. I work hard. It's hard out here for people. Okay? I work hard. Um, secondly, no, we already did a second. Thirdly, make sure you hit the notification bell. That's it. That's all you gotta do. One, two, three. And then keep watching. <laughs> Alright, you guys, I'll see you in the video. Okay, so we're just gonna jump right into it. So I don't really know if I wanna take my Tasha primer. I don't know if it's like you know give me the life that I need because I be in smile on. Starting to hit the pan. I don't know what the hell I look like, but this ain't it. <laughs> so let's go ahead and get into this foundation. I'm going to take my NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop foundation because sadly, Fenty Beauty is falling right now. I know. I'm hella sad. I love this foundation. Only thing I can say that really aggravates me about this foundation is the fact that this like top gets stopped up very often. Like, and then when you pump it, it just busts out. I'm like, yuck. I probably have way, way too much foundation, but we're not wasteful over here. So we're gonna use all this foundation that I yapped on my hand. I'm so excited. I'm very like, I feel like I'm more in tune with my girliness now than I was before. So I'm really excited about doing this look. I really, I applied my foundation with this brush yesterday and I really like how it came out. So I'm gonna do the same today. This is a brush that I got off Groupon again, so it's nothing like too spectacular. All right, I'm gonna take my Fenty Beauty Concealer in 330. So I've been doing this thing where I just Leave like let the concealer sit for a while before I blend it out to give me a more full coverage look. Okay, don't come for me. I know I didn't clean my beauty blender, but I'm just gonna I let it sit enough. I'm just gonna blend it out. this concealer you really like I because I really had like some questions about it like if it really is what it claims to be like creases like when I first did my review if you haven't seen the review I'm gonna link it in the description below I like said in the video I had some creasing so I had noticed like I kept wearing it and it was still like some like a lot more creasing than usual so with this concealer you really like once you blend it out you need to set it immediately and that's just with me i'm not sure if anyone else is experiencing that but you need to set the concealer immediately so i'm using my huda beauty and this is in kunafa i've been getting smile lines like crazy so i'm just gonna do my brows off camera really quick and i will be right back all right guys so we're back the brows are done and i went ahead and just um took that powder off um i actually need to 
put more powder under my eyes so if I get fallout I'm just gonna you know take the hood of beauty again catch this fallout but okay let's go ahead and get into it I'm using the Urban Decay Jean hmm, I don't want to mess up his name oh my god this right here Jean Michel Basquiat palette when I got this palette yours are girl but um, we're gonna do some pink, so we're gonna start off with this pink right here and go ahead and use that as a transition shade. I wanna be pinky today, really pink. Mm, it's not showing up, okay. Scratch that, we go into this pink right here and it's in the shade 1960. Yeah. And then just taking like a regular fluffy brush and just go ahead and put that in the crease. Window wiping method. I'm like been, I have really been obsessed with the color pink lately. I don't know why, but I'm just really feeling extra girly. I'm just building up this pink like I thought that this was going to be a little bit more pigmented when I first bought this palette just because it is Urban Decay, but I've dipped into it quite, you know, pretty often to get like this pigment. So that's the only thing I was really disappointed about this palette that it wasn't, you know, as pigmented. Like the black that's in here is not really like black. That's, I don't think that, I think that's why I didn't do too well because it wasn't as pigmented. All right, I'm dipping into the BH Cosmetics Festival Weekend Festival palette and just taking, it's called Dippy. It's a, like it looks kind of different on camera, but it's a very vibrant pink color. And surprisingly, it has more pigment than the Urban Decay Cosmetics one. And I'm pretty sure that's a little bit more pricier than BH Cosmetics. So that just goes to show that you don't always have to spend a whole bunch of money to get you know quality products you see how it really like brightened up my look here okay now I'm wondering if we should do a cut crease I'm excited this is really pretty all right so I'm going to take my morphe 154 brush I recently picked this up and I'm going to go and this is I feel like I use this palette really often, but this is a really nice palette. So if you haven't picked up this palette, what are you doing? This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance Palette, and I'm going to take the shade Love Letter. Daydreaming about things I'm going to do, 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 do for you. You know that song by Ariana Grande. I'm just gonna put that directly in the crease just to deepen it up a little bit. Ooh, sis, where's you going with this look? I don't know, but we're gonna, you know, get on the yellow brick road and find out. Every time, like, I'm doing a look and I'm really like, feeling it and I'm concentrating, I'll be like, if you ever notice we do that, so yeah. But this is about to be fire. I just feel it. Like this look is just about to be fire. That's so pretty. So I'm going to take Venetian Red, and if you're not familiar with how that shade looks, this is Venetian Red. I'm just gonna just I feel like whenever I do like a pink look, I always go for these three colors in this palette. And it works out for me. I'm just gonna put that more towards the outer corner using the same brush, cause why not? I love doing looks like this, it really gives me life. And lastly, um, and I think maybe lastly in this palette, I don't know, but I'm gonna take red ochre right here. 
and really deepen up the outer corner with that shade. I'm just like lightly, like as you see, I'm just lightly tapping it in there. Okay, let's cut this crease because I'm obsessed. As you can see, it looks really pretty. You know, before I cut the crease, I do want to go into the soft land palette and take Mulberry. It's like a burgundy like type of shade and just deepen up my crease. Yeah, no, we don't like harsh lines, so just blend out any harsh lines that you see. All right, to cut my crease, I'm using my Fenty Beauty Concealer in 330, and I'm gonna use this e.l.f. concealer brush. Okay, quiet. Okay, so we have the crease done. I'm trying not to open my eyes, and I'm going to go into the Soft Glam Palette and take Rose Pink right here. But what I'm gonna do is, you know, mix it up a little bit and put sultry at the end. Just so I can have some type of, you know, transition. It's really pretty. I think I'm gonna take a little bit of mulberry and yeah, I'm gonna take a little bit of mulberry just to you know have it blend in nicely together. Wow, magic. This looks so good. I can't even lie. This is how good this looks. I'm just gonna do my other eye. <laughs> I'm like feeling myself literally. I'm gonna do my other eye, and you already know how I do. Come back looking like a whole different person. So I'm gonna do my other eye off camera, then I'll be back. All right, guys, I'm back. I know. Okay, I'm I'm not gonna look this crazy. My see my, my lace and stuff is just looking crazy. But this pink is setting it off. Okay, just setting it off. I'm gonna add some blush using my NYX contour palette, cheek duo palette. I got this years ago, I don't even know if they still sell this, but you can see that this has been dropped, but it's like a berry tone blush. Very like, pretty. That's cute. Mm -hmm. Now let's go ahead and set the face using the Morphe setting spray. Tripping from Fenty Beauty. I'm just taking, you know, the brush I use for highlight and just rubbing it on there like so. And just placing that right there. This is just like a base, but tripping is like popping off today. Come through, sis. Came through. You have to show out for the boys like that. Like Tinkerbell, no, tone it down. To top off my highlight, oh, whatever, it was on sale. Anyways, to top off my highlight is the Master Chrome by Maybelline, and this is in the shade 
Molten Topaz. This was $9.99. It was on sale for $2.99. And you know what? I don't know why it was on sale. I don't know if it just wasn't doing well. But this is like my new favorite highlighter. Like, honestly, it gives you a nice glow. Why would they put this on foil? My mad oh. oh, oh. It's cute. Real cute. Add that, let's blend that. I never like the look of my highlight just sitting on my face. I just don't think it's cute. Okay, let's finish up the eyes. I'm going to just go into the Modern Renaissance palette and use the same colors that I used to do the look. So let's see which one I want. I think I'm going to start with Red Ochre and put that way right here, start right here. And kind of drag it. Okay, I'm gonna use a different brush. All right, so I cleaned this brush off and I'm just gonna take red ochre and put it starting I'm gonna take a little bit of love letter Put that on top. Ooh, that's so cute. Oh my gosh. This is too freaking cute, man. Like, I look so freaking adorable. I can't. But we're gonna work these bangs. Let me put on some mascara. Y'all already know how I do. So, I did my mascara off camera. I am. <laughs> In love, in love. So, let me um take this chopstick off. I'm trying to bake if I want to keep it all pink because I do have. Let's see. This is a maybe. A maybe. My please me Nicki Minaj matte collection. I don't want to do gloss, but. It just depending on if the lipstick comes out right. Okay, so I really want to experiment with this lipstick. I bought this lipstick, I believe, last year, and it's pink. It's by Anastasia Beverly Hills. It's called Orchid. So that's why I really picked it out because I love orchids. So let's go ahead and line these lips. All right, so we have the lips lined. So let's go ahead and try this lipstick. It is a matte formula, so. Mm. I'm just gonna blot it. Put a little bit on blot it. I never do this much pink. Oh my god. But ooh, hold on. Hold the phone. Hold. <laughs> oh yeah. You better be coming with all the snacks on Valentine's Day if I'm looking like a full course meal. Yes, I'm feeling it. Okay, I don't want to cover my little open shoulder. Matter of fact, I just bought this sweater. Actually, I wasn't even like, I didn't buy the sweater for Valentine's Day. I just bought the sweater just to buy it. And I got this from Fashion Nova. It's cute. 
much cute. It ain't just a look, it's a popping a F look. Le cool. All right, guys, this is a finished look. As you can see, I am obsessed. I feel like I said this about all my looks, but I swear I'd be obsessed with all my looks when I, you know, when it comes out to my liking. I'm obsessed with how everything came out. I think I really like this look more. I'm really feeling bangs. Like, I've had bangs in years, but I'm, bangs are just, I feel like they're giving me life. So I hope this look gave you as much life as it brought back into me. So if you go ahead and give this video a thumbs up, make sure you subscribe to my channel. Make sure you tuned in so you can get notified of all my videos by clicking the notification bell in the corner there. And I will see you in my next upload. Right, Pinkalicious.